Hello, this is Trevor. We are working on another XSS lab in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This time the lab is a reflected XSS protected by CSP with CSP blackout, bypass, sorry. Uh, this lab contains a reflected vulnerability sub lab, cross site scripting attack that bypasses CSP and calls the alert function. And we can only do it in Chrome. I am currently in Firefox, so we'll need to switch to solve it, but this is a good place to get started. So let's open up the lab. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. And it's reflected, right? So let's try, let's just try something here like script alert one. And I, again, just to be, transparent. I did look up the solution um, because I was not able to figure it out for myself. So this did not work. Let's take a look at the console and we see we get it blocked by the content security policy. All right, let's take a look and see what that is. We go to proxy HTTP history. We can see the get. So we have, here's the content security policy, default source self none scripts or self so this is what blocked us report uri this is kind of the key to solving this is that it takes in a token parameter that we can control the way we'll control that is by doing ampersand token equals let's do block and let's take a look at post no we want the search right here so see how we what we entered for token is included in the content security policy that means that we could possibly override or give an option that is more risk more specific which would and which would allow us right because the way the content security policy works is it takes the most restrictive possible so we have the first one which it, or more specific the first directive which is default source so this covers everything it's not specific at all and then following that we have script source which is more specific to the type of element that we're controlling. So if we could add on something more restrictive or more specific, sorry, I keep messing up that word, then we could allow it um, if there was a directive that is more specific. Also, if we could add on this again this is one of the things i tried maybe it would read the second one and not the first one so let's try that first just to show you what happens so i'm going to copy that and paste it here instead of self i'm going to do unsafe inline hit return so we can see that we still have the unsafe inline what i expected is it to tell me that it didn't read it because of what did i mess up oh you know what i messed up is i need a semicolon here and the reason why is let's put add voila here semicolon is going to escape the report uri one that we're currently in and then cr create a new there another script source so let's uh request this one you can see though it didn't run and we got it the error script source directives detected all but the first instance will be ignored so we cannot overwrite a previous one because it's only reading the first ones hope that makes sense so um, if we look at, let's do that. Let's uh, open up Chrome. 
and I am going to turn this off and I'm going to go to MDN content. Oh, it's not going to be in MDN, right? So Chrome, con Chrome content security policy. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be on MDN. Let's try MDN script source Elm. It is sweet. So this is what we're going to use script source Elm. Script, it defines it as valid sources for JavaScript script elements, but not inline script events like on click. Sweet. So script source Elm. So if this works, it does not work in Firefox. You can see why we have to use Chrome here. But this is the, the uh, CSP directive that we're going to use. Let's go here and make sure we open this in Chrome. And I am proxying that. I can now close this all the way. Well, let's leave this opens so that we stay logged in and I'm just going to move it off screen. So I'll do it there. Now, uh, we just need to add the Elm and this is solved unsafe in line, but we want to do that in, in freaking code. So this is called, let's go to Firefox CSP bypass. So vim csp by pass dot pi. Grab our template. This will be a pretty quick script. All we need to do is the search blog dot search. Do we have, I think we can't use search because I think we did parameters in search. Yep, we can't use search. So let's do blog dot get response with the URL and then we'll do blog dot is solved. So the URL, we want blog dot base URL plus we want the search stuff, which is this, and then we want our payload. And again, I'm just going to split this up. Payload equals boom, boom, search. Oh, and let's do an F string here. Insert our payload. That way we can add tack on the ampersand and have it not be URL encoded ampersand. What do I say? Token equals, and let's grab what we want the token to equal like this. Except mm, not well. Yeah. I want it just like this. Okay. Script source and then dash lm space single quote unsafe inline single quote that looks good we need to url encode our payload so we'll do a quote payload we will need to import that so up here we'll do from url lib dot parse import quote. We're not going to use requests. We can do that. So all we need now is our payload, which we can do any inline script we want. Script source Elm. I actually know we can't. Well, maybe we can't. Let's try it. Script alert one 
script. The only thing we may... I don't know if script source Elm. Oh, no, I, it is right. So when we looked at the MDN, which we closed it already, it already talked about script tags being allowed. So this is our payload. It's going to get URL encoded, injected right there. We're going to add the token parameter. We're going to give it something. Doesn't matter. This can be anything. We're going to close that off with a single, uh, the semicolon. We're going to add the script source elem as a directive. Remember, this is more specific, so it's going to take priority over the less specific current, which is script source. And then in this one, we're going to allow unsafe inline. We're going to get that URL and then check if it's solved. I think that is it. Um, let's copy this. And we'll do Python CSP bypass, paste this guy. We have no logs, which is lame. Uh, let's do log.info getting UR. We should have it in get response. Why don't we have a log in there? Utils blog. No, it's in site get response right here. Log.info getting URL getting response from URL. Okay. That's at least something. What did we change there? Okay, I like that better. Check in solved, lab is solved. We did get it solved. Woohoo! So uh, this one's a fast one. Um, we basically used the ability to overwrite the CSP in the application against it. We used a CSP directive that is more specific, which is the script source LM. This allowed us to overwrite or provide instructions specific to the elements that will follow with this this directive and did unsafe inline so we could add in the script tags and do our alert payload. Then we checked if it was solved. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.